that grace we are bound towards you in the name of Jesus. But please be aware so that you won't stop the flow of grace when God will do it for you. The last one I would like to tell you is about always value the giver of grace to glorify him. Always value the giver of grace to give him his glory, always. You know, one of the big mistakes that so many Christians have made is many value the grace than the giver of grace. <laughs> many value the what? The grace. Yes, I'm anointed. I have the anointing. And this anointing is what? That is my treasure. They value it. But they don't understand that the giver of the anointing is the one that to be valued most. When the giver of the anointing says, sit down there, you sit down. Go there, you go. That is how the anointing will increase. That's how the grace will increase. But when you value the grace, than the giver of grace, that's a very dangerous thing. Oh, this my car. I've got a lot of them. I got this. I've got that. I've got that. And you so value that one, taking care of that. But the one who gave it, you forget. Until you can reach a level that everything he has done for you look like nothing. And you look unto him and you value him than all those things. And look down to those things and you say, you are small because greater is he that has given you to me. Then you will see grace abound. Follow the great givers of grace. If your member become 100 and they become 1,000, don't value those members than God. Value God and them. Value God than that money. Value God than that position. Value God than anything on earth. Look at everything as nothing and see God as all things. And begin to give glory to God. Amen. You look at it everything. You look at everywhere and you start to sing. All oh, glory must be to the Lord. You give him glory. Then grace will increase. Grace will increase. And grace will multiply. May the grace of the Lord Jesus multiply to you. If you're hearing me now. If you haven't given your life to Jesus, remember what I've said earlier in this message. The grace of the Lord Jesus rescued the thief on the cro cross of Calvary. That same grace is still available for anyone if ever you be willing to embrace it. Just welcome the grace. Just welcome that grace. Jesus, I want to surrender to you. Give me grace to be saved. He will save you. He will write your name in the book of life. Amen. Hallelujah. He will save you. The grace is sufficient. It's available for anyone who wants to embrace it. But the dangerous thing is, if the grace is there and you reject the grace, you don't want to hear gospel. You don't want to give your life to him. You may miss everything. No thing you achieve in this life, in this world, that have a defined security until grace is in place. Give your life to Jesus. I want to pray with you. And the Lord will do it for you. If ever you want to give your life to Jesus, this is an opportunity.